Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic here to bring you part two of my Luigi's Mansion Let's Play. In the last part, we went through all the tutorial stuff, I explained how I'm going through this project, and got through the first few rooms of the mansion. So let's tackle a few more. Oh, one thing I should mention. After the last video, I decided to put some stat tracking on the description. Basically, how that will work is is I will have the uh, the total amount of um, what am I trying to say? I'll have the um, the amounts listed there will be what I ended the episode on. I've got the little spacing for spoilers there to help prevent that. And then after that, all the items will be listed in order. So it's like first coins, then dollar bills, then gold bars. And I'll be listing... First, the amount that I ended off the episode on, and then second, the amount that is maximum for that chapter. Because there's four chapters in this game, and I didn't really feel like doing three different numbers, because I felt that would be a little too confusing. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Just thought I should mention that I'm starting to do that. And in case you're wondering what I'm t what I'm talking about, uh, basically, for coins, for example, it would be 88 out of however many I would have by the time I finish the first chapter on the last video. And then once I got into chapter 2, I would replace that with chapter 2, and then etc, etc. You get the idea now. I'm just rambling. Okay, time to head into the wardrobe room. Okay, first, I'm going to take care of ghosts. Hang on. Alright, where are you, you stupid garbage? There you are! Banana peel. <laughs> all right, so we've got rid of all the ghosts, but you'll notice it's still dark. That's because there are two ghosts... Um, there is one ghost left that I would have to clear before the lights come back on. However, I'm not going to be getting that ghost yet, because... There is a special type of ghost in this game called a speedy spirit. It only appears when the lights are out, it is very difficult to catch, and it drops a lot of cash when it's sucked up. Also, if you screw up even once, it's gone forever, so you've got to be on your toes about that. Now, let's see. He's in one of these drawers. I forget which one, though, and I don't want to open them randomly because the other one has the last remaining ghosts I need to suck up to, to uh, bring light back into the room. All right, wardrobe on the right, that's the one. Now, this ghost is interesting because it'll try to face the exact opposite way of Luigi. This is the ghost that sidestep mode is generally recommended for, but I tend not to use that as much. Anyway. 
Look at what I have to do in order to catch this. Yeah. It's kind of tricky. I was lucky that guy got stuck behind that other drawer. Okay, so, uh, what should I have after that? Oh, it doesn't say what I should have after that. But I should take out this last gold ghost. And then... Once I get all the cash that was in this drawer... And then maybe... Hmm. That's... 123.95 and 2. Okay, I got all the money from that ghost. Good. So, it is now time to head on to the next room. But there's not really anything we can do here. Wah! Wah! Mario, where are you? Wah! Huh? Luigi? Yeah, Luigi! How lucky that you found me! I feel so much better now! Please, please, please save Mario! I've looked everywhere! I can't find him! Where is he? Yeah, this toad, he will also save your game, which I will do, since I got the 100%. And, yeah, there is absolutely, positively nothing that you can get here yet. So, let me just get back to the main lobby. But, uh, while I'm doing that, I should show off something interesting in this game. You see, if you check a mirror... You get warped right back to the beginning of the world. Yep. I don't know how that makes any sort of sense, but it sure is handy. Eh? Hmm? Hold up a second, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've seen yet lurking around. Uh, ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Yeah, you can also get a lot of flavor text that way. I won't be showing it, though, because it'd be kind of tricky to show all that. Also, one thing, another thing I should mention. This room shows the introduction of fake doors. A real door... A real door will vibrate when you go come up to it. A fake door will not. Try to open it, it will hurt, and also cause coins to spray about. So I'm not going to show it. Ah, oh, there's one of those gallery ghosts. But I'm not going to be catching him, him right away because there is another speedy spirit in this room. Among other things. Alright, so... I've got all the stuff so far. Oh, Book of Riddles. Mysteries appear wherever people turn. But turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. 
Okay. What about this one? What? No, that's the same book of riddles I... Ah! Neville's Big Baby Di Care Diary. Sure. My third son is still a baby. Oddly enough, he seems to scare people in ways the other two never did. The twins now. They're afraid of fire, water, cold, and wind. Why, they shake with fright when beset by the elements. Sometimes I think they're more childlike than the baby. Hmm, interesting. Now, over here... Ah, darkness is their cheese. Sure, I'll read it. Ghost mice are drawn to darkness, as real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark, they shine gold with contentment. I must try to get close to one before the lights come back on. See Parmesan. Yes, that is referring to a second type of bounty ghost in this game. Which also starts appearing in this room. I'll mention that in a bit. And anyway, Book of Pericles. There are spirits known as elemental ghosts. They live in the elements of fire, water, and ice that make up much of our world. And why did the screen flicker? Ah, okay, we're back. To handle these elements, one must first obtain an element metal. Perhaps the elemental ghosts are only visible to the bearer of such metal. That would be correct. Then lastly, over here. Uh, Egad's Guide to Ghost, how did this get here? De dear readers, we've all had trouble with ghosts who aren't easily surprised, right? They have all sorts of ways to protect themselves from light. What would you do, bright folks, when in a fix with one of these stubborn ghouls? Well, sir, I'd first look for an opening, a way to catch them off guard and unsettle them. When a ghost is surprised and shows you his heart, well, that's your chance to catch the little bugger. I tell you, I've caught dozens of ghosts just like this. Ah, Lydia's Child Care Diary. Lydia is actually the next gallery ghost we'll be getting after Neville. The twins are very shy for ghosts their age. They've even gone and hid the key to their room far away in the mansion. How very trying. They got mad at me the other day for twirling their little toy helicopter mobile. Ghost children today! Who knows what they're thinking? Alright, that's all the books. Now, let's see. Stuff to finish to get all the, uh... to get all the cash. Let's see. There should be some in the chandelier. No? Maybe... Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to activate this ghost accidentally. There it is! Ah, okay. One thing I should mention about these gems like this, make sure you get them last. Unlike what I did. That is because they stay around for a little longer than... than, uh... than the coins and dollar bills do. And they also cause that weird, uh, cutscene whenever they vanish. Now, I'm going to save the game again. Just to make sure that I don't screw anything up. I have a backup, remember. So, I'm still good. If... <laughs> if I end up missing something. Okay, now.
Darn it. And that is why you save. <laughs> Actually, while I'm here, I might as well back up the... Um, update my backup. Real quick. Right before I forget. Alright, so now that we've done that, let me get back. To this place, and make sure to suck up that book again. There we go. Now. No, oh, wrong button. Wanted X. You see that cheese? When you see this cheese, you have to examine it and then quickly exit out. Because. Gold Mouse! Catch, 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 catch! Where is it? There we go. Alright, so, where am I? 189? That can't be right. Let's see. Okay, yeah, there is supposed to be coins coming out of the ceiling light. What the hey? Well, let me just make sure I got them all before... trying to suck up Neville. Maybe I need to walk farther away. Yeah, sorry for being kind of paranoid, but I really do not want to miss any gold. Ceiling light. There we go. There's the five missing coins. Now let me just suck up this book. One left. Um, suck up this book again. Update the save. And make sure that I have everything that I should have. Okay. So at this point, that's what you should have. 189, 132, 11. Hmm. Now it's time to finally get around to taking out Neville himself. Gonna wait until he yawns. Stun him. And get him down. Eventually he'll drop a poison shroom thingy, which I don't want to hit. Perfect! There we go. Four, four and one. Oh, yeah. That is what you need. <laughs> and that key will open up the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. But before I do that, I'm going to save again. Yes, yes, I know there's a lot of saving here, but I'm really paranoid! 
I want to show you guys what the absolute maximum in gold is. Alright, so, time to go all the way to the end of the hall, and into the room. Now here, we have some more coins to get. Like this gold bar in the dresser. Um, there's a ceiling fan up here, just hold the hold the vacuum on it until eventually there we go you can also get the covers off this bed oh yeah oh yeah okay looks like i need to do the old get away from. Uh, leave the room and come back. Trick. Since. It didn't want to show. Uh, it didn't want to have the coins pop up. Try this again. No? Maybe this one. Maybe... Hmm. Still not showing up. I really hate how I have to go back and forth and back and forth like this. Just to have the chance to get some gold coins or whatever. Come on! Give. Me. Money! There we go! Ninety-nine, one sixty-five, and three. That's what we need. Now... To get rid of her... Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of the mirror. It seems to scare people, though. So everything is coming up roses! Yeah. She's very concerned with her looks. What would happen if she had a little draft? Oh dear, such a draft! Well, you're gonna feel a bigger draft right about now, lady. And she is also going to drop one of those, uh... Poison Mushroom things. There we go! That was easy. Eight, eight, and two! Great! And... The key! Now that will lead us to the nursery. Hmm. Which, as you might be able to tell by the by the uh, special cutscene there, is the boss for chapter one. So before I fight him, I am going to save again. In fact, I think I'll be able to fit that guy into this video, thus completing Chapter 1 entirely. Hmm. Just let me get there, and... Alright. First up, 
There's some coins around this rocking horse. There's also some stuff in the... No, oh, not again. There's supposed to be coins in the ceiling light game. Just give me my reward. So that I can continue and not have a problem later on down the road. Please. Mario. Actually, I'm going to check this because I know there's a heart just to refill. Because ghost ranks for bosses work differently than they do for gallery ghosts. For gallery ghosts, they depend on what sort of treasure you picked up, so... The fact that I'm getting all treasure means I'm guaranteed to get all gold. Assuming I can pull it off. For boss ghosts, however... It's based on how... How much health you can drain. Let's see, 213, 165, and 3... 882, 1 and 1. Good! I have every piece of treasure. In chapter one. Got to rock the rocking horse in order to start the battle. Hey, wanna play with me? Sure, I've got a game called Dodgeball. You gave me an owie! I just wanted to play with you! I hate grown ups! Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough! Small! Now grow smaller! Small! Itsy tiny widow! Wee! Ka ka go go ga! Oh boy, this can't be good. And now the real battle with Chauncey begins. And he is huge. All right. Alright, to start the boss, he's going to try flinging rocking horses at us. Just run past him, and run past them, and they will miss. Now for bouncy balls. Dodge the balls. Eventually, one of them will fall into the crib. You want to suck it up. Aim, fire, and... Yeah, he broke my concentrate. He broke my connection. Don't worry, that's pretty much guaranteed to happen for all bosses. That you're not going to be able to suck them up in one go. That's why they have these different ranking systems than the gallery ghosts. But, he's just basically going to do the same thing he did last time. Send the rocking horses. And then the bouncy balls. And eventually one of them there. Aim, fire, and get into my... Alright, so, got him down to about 20 health. He's gonna try to... Hurt me again, but fail miserably because he's just a stupid widow baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these horses are gonna come in faster. Also, he's gonna try sending two now. Just stand in the middle, and they'll miss. And then one last rain of bouncy balls to avoid. 
Get it. Fire. And suck up those last 15 HP. Bye bye, Chauncey. You're mine. Now, let me just get your prize a little heart key. Luigi! Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay! I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm. You seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come back to the lab? When you vacuum up Boss Ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pr pretty much full to bursting. But, oh, oh, I guess you showed that Boss Ghost who's boss. Alright. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy! And now... It's time to process those three go gallery ghosts we got. And unceremoniously discard the numerous mooks we captured as well. The ghosts are invisible. So we need to press them into visible forms. And presto! Turn them into beautiful ghost portraits! And as you can see, they are all with gold frames. Just like I said they'd be. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. And here we go, the... We have caught Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey. That's a total of three gallery ghosts. And here is the end of chapter rundown of Cash. I have every piece of piece of money. So at the end of chapter one, if you're doing what I'm doing, you should have 9,665,000 pieces of gold. Excellent. And yes, I am going to save. So, that is it for this episode. Uh, Anthony, can you lead us off, please? It's Waluigi! And holy crap, how the heck did you get almost 10 million gold already? Well, if you think that's a lot, then you haven't seen anything yet. There are items in this game that are so valuable, they are worth more than that. <laughs> on their own. What? How the heck? Whatever. Oh, and by the way, it's Waluigi! I think you already said that. I don't care! <sighs> anyway. If you liked the video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and favorite, so that I can become super popular! <clears throat> uh, and him too. Thank you. Also, be sure to let me know what you want to see in future LPs, and I'll be sure to give that special consideration. Until next time, where we return to the mansion and tackle Area 2, I will see you guys then. And where the heck is that ghost number 4? It's supposed to be ghost number... Oh, oh, I know why. Never mind. So yeah. Anyway, see you guys.